so when you have your last chain you're gonna do three double crochets in the last chain double crochet in the next stitch so we're going to turn this thing upside down and go to the next um, stitch we're going to do one double crochet yes so this is how we do it and then we'll be putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the to the end of this one okay so once you reach the end uh, you have three double crochets there in the first round and then we're going to make a slip stitch on the uh, top beginning third chain which is here okay Make a slip stitch and then we finish the uh, first round. Okay, so I started out with two double crochets, oh, well, chain three, and then one DC in the same stitch, and then in the next stitch, one DC, and in the third stitch, I made an increase, two double crochets. And then next stitch, we'll just put one double crochet across in every stitch. Okay, but we're gonna stop um, putting one double crochet until we get to the, the the middle of the increases that we made at the at the other end of this. Um, round in which we put in three double crochets so in the middle you'll just add one the DC and on its sides you're gonna put two double crochets as your increase okay so once we reach the three double crochets increases at the end at the other end, we're going to do, we're going to put in two double crochets. Okay, we're going to make an increase again. Two double crochets in this stitch. And in the middle of a 3DC group, uh, we're going to put in just one in the middle. And then we're going to add in... In the next stitch, we're gonna do two DC. Okay, and this will be the last uh, increase that we're gonna do. And for the next round, we're just gonna do one DC on every stitch until you get to your desired height of your bag. Okay, so when you reach the end, you will see there the last stitch, but you're not gonna put any more stitches there because it did. It stands as one double crochet. It is where you will see this three chains and this means you have already reached the end and you're going to slip stitch on the top third chain right there. And then that's it. Okay, your second round is finished. Okay, so to start off the third round, you're going to chain three and you're going to just put in one DC or one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, and you're going to do that until you get your desired height of your bag.
Okay, so this is how I ended my third round. Uh, don't forget, when you reach the last stitch, you'll see this chain here and then the chain three that we first did on this round. We're gonna make a slip stitch here and then moving on to the next round. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. There's like uh, depth right, on your bag. So that's what I did in my previous bags. Let me just show you. So this is what I also uh, did. And uh, if you're going to to do one DC in every stitch on back loop only so this is how it looks so there's like a small ridge there yeah but I prefer not to to add uh, to do that because I want it to be sturdier okay and then the next step is to, um, get to the desired length of your bag so with this bag uh, I added three, six, nine, eleven more rows, and then after eleven rows, I added one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm gonna do first the adding of uh, one double crochet in every stitch until I get to eleventh row. Alright, so I have added uh, from the third row that we did, which is here, one, two, three, and then I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more rows. And then, just to make it tighter on the top, I added three more rows of half double crochet here and then after three half double crochets one and then on the second row of um, putting single crochets I, well I pretty much eyeballed it because you can just you know flatten this up and then you can see the sides all right, and then I divided uh, this here with five um, single crochet stitch, and then I put this ring in between. And this is how it looks in the inside. So it's just easy to insert this one here. All you have to do is when you reach the last five single crochets here, okay, before the before you start with the first single crochet going there. Just insert this ring and then do five single crochets in between the ring and then insert the other uh, side of this uh, ring and then just continuously do it, not um, closing it with slip stitch so that it will have a smooth uh, finish. All right, but it's up to you. You can also just just make a few more rows of uh, double crochet. It doesn't matter if you want. Uh, just double crochets and if you don't want to put some rings or if you want to put metal rings then that is much better because it will make it more sturdier okay now for the flap what I have made is um, just a, f a few rows of uh, double crochets um, it has to be a little smaller than the size of your um, bag of the yeah of this one of this piece so th this has to be a little bit shorter so that once you put it here okay there will be an allowance for the ruffles that we're gonna put in around this flap that we made okay so we can do uh, 20 20 five chains and then after that add chain three and then on the fourth chain from the hook 
one double crochets in every row and then if you want to have a smooth side edges um, my recommendation is you just do chain two for the start of every uh, row so that it will create a uh, straighter edge. <laughs> 